I'll just take you a drive in our little smart car, show you how it performs on the road. This car's got air conditioning, it's also got sat nav as well. It's a full panoramic roof and also a shade band that comes across in case uh, the sun's too hot. Uh, automatic and semi automatic, you can change gear just by knocking the gear stick forward or down by knocking it backwards. Uh, however, in order for it to be fully automatic, it shows you the gear you're in on the, on the dash there on the display, but in all honesty, to drive better in fully automatic, I think you should probably be fully automatic and then knock the button to knock them to manual if you so desire. So a little button on the left hand side of the gear stick, knock that in and it's in automatic. Just turn the aircon down a little bit. Oops. And away we go. After you've driven a couple of miles in it you get used to the gear change and you can make it smoother by just letting off the accelerator uh, ever so slightly then the uh, the gear change is a lot smoother it is a car for getting around the city Going to work in every day and uh, always finding a parking space wherever you go. As I say, it, it has got a good spec, very economical. Bags of room, the way it's designed. In order to give you leg room, rather than the car being long, it's higher so that your leg room is kind of down as opposed to lengthways. I'll just try and demonstrate the gear change uh, and, and how you can make it smoother. roof gives it quite a roomy feel to the cabin and uh, I mean I'm six foot and there's plenty of headroom plenty of leg room I'll just show you the gear change now now if you keep your foot down goes like the clappers and then there's quite a delay on the gear change if you just after a while you get to know where it's going to change like so just take your foot off the accelerator ever so slightly car changes and you're away and it's, it's smooth doing 60 miles an hour now um, showing 2700 revs it's very, very windy today again. Sixty five miles an hour, quiet, smooth.
say, if you build the revs up, let your foot off the accelerator, it just changes ever so smoothly. There's an economy button here, just in forward, well, just forward of the gear stick, and uh, that switches the engine off when you come to a, a, a stop, put your foot on the brake, but uh, I think for the purpose of this test drive we'll knock that off. It's been a, in the motor trade a long, long time and being used to driving around in cars that are running on fumes. My first instinct still when a car stops at traffic lights is to dip the clutch and uh, hit the accelerator. Um, of course that's not what you want to do when you're uh, in a start-stop car. You can override the gear shift, the automatic, like so, just by knocking down. shows you on the dashboard. It's a very nippy car. And then just click the button. Once you've got through whatever situation you needed to drive in manual, just click the button on the outside and you're back in automatic. Dead on 70, just over 3,000 revs. Very little cabin noise to speak of. For the size of the car, I'd expect a lot more. And it, and it is, it's, you know, it's not bouncing about all over the place. I actually used one of these for quite a while. not putting fuel in, it's great. The car's finished in a pale metallic blue and then the safety cell, I think it's called Tridian, safety cell is uh, that's contrasting silver. Uh, the design of the smart car as far as safety goes, it's uh, the, the, the Tridian cell structure is basically to all four corners and also the wheels the tires they're designed to be part of the structure and to absorb some impact when they first came out incredibly over engineered these cars and uh, they remain so to engine uh, this car is just not working hard at all and um, I know you see a lot of them behind motorhomes but I, I use one every day for a while and it was fine We're doing 70. No, no, perhaps I should slow down a little bit before it. I'll slow down to 60 and then I'll put my foot down. Right, we're 60. There you go. At 60 miles an hour, it 
to kick down and we're away to 70. Pretty impressive. So was that, not sure what it was. Accelerator, um, you can encourage it to change gear and have a very, very smooth drive. Bearing in mind that this is a very bumpy road. in this car may appear to be bumpier than it is. We're on an extremely bumpy road. The only place to mount the camera is it's stuck to the glass panoramic roof. So it's not stable at all, it's just on one um, rod.
good little car actually. I, I take it back, it's not just a city car. I think you'd be quite happy going anywhere in it. 